Fed warned Ripple XRP buyback will allow you retire in two years. U.S. Representative Brad Sherman recently advised the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, to go after crypto exchanges that supported Ripple's XRP token. However, in a recent interaction with Fox Business journalist, Eleanor Tourette Sherman made another claim against the token. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Securities and Exchange Commission opposed Ripple's motion for summary trial. The commission mentioned that indisputable facts prove that the defendants were engaged in unregistered sales of securities. She added that Ripple implicitly admits that they won't win the Howey test. According to the SEC, Ripple's analysis of the Howey test represents an attempt by the blockchain company to build its own test based on a pre-1933 state law, taking two words out of context and then allegedly showing that they pass the test. The Securities and Exchange Commission argued that XRP is a security because most of Ripple's XRP sales were in exchange for money, adding that buyers invested in a common venture with each other and Ripple. In addition, the SEC said that Ripple made investors expect profits from XRP thanks to its management efforts. Finally, the individual defendants' arguments that some of their XRP offerings and sales were not internal are also untenable, the SEC added. Shortly after the handover of the drafts of William Hinman's speech in 2018, the SEC submitted for closed consideration the proposed revisions of two draft documents. The Securities and Exchange Commission submitted to the Chamber by Justice of the Peace Ned Byrne the proposed revisions of two drafts of Hinman's speech in June 2018, which discussed decisions pending consideration by the Securities and Exchange Commission. The Securities Regulator wants to edit the documents because they contain discussions of the agency's issues. In accordance with the court order of July 12, 2022, the Securities and Exchange Commission respectfully submits for a closed review the proposed amendments to two drafts of Director Bill Hinman's speech in June 2018, in which the Commission's decisions are discussed, reads an excerpt from the Securities and Exchange Commission's petition. According to the SEC, on April 11, 2022, the court ruled that the agency could require the editing of messages from SEC employees discussing how Hinman's speech might affect other agency cases. The SEC hereby submits these two documents with the proposed revisions highlighted in yellow on page 6 of Record 29 and page 5 of Record 35, and therefore seeks to make appropriate changes to these two documents, he concluded. The proposed amendments were submitted to Judge Sarah Nett Byrne for consideration. Ripple is expected to comment on the sex request in the coming days. As reported, the Securities and Exchange Commission finally handed over to Ripple drafts of Hinman's scandalous speech in 2018 by order of Judge Annalisa Torres. After more than 18 months and six court rulings, we finally have Hinman's documents, internal SEC emails and drafts of his infamous 2018 speech, said Stuart Alderati, Ripple's general counsel. Ripple's big victory in the XRP lawsuit has caused a lot of reactions. Stuart Alderati, Ripple's general counsel, said that after a long 18 months of waiting and six court orders, the SEC finally refused Hinman's documents. However, these documents do not contain evidence of whether XRP is a security or not. Meanwhile, Ripple's general counsel mentioned that for now these documents will remain confidential. He added that getting these notes was worth fighting for. Ripple CEO Brad Galinghouse in his tweet on October 21 shared a message from Ripple general counsel Stuart Alderati in comments to which he urged not to believe the SEC. According to Garlinghouse, the sex decision to finally hand over the documents to Ripple is an attempt by the agency to give people the idea that it cares about disclosure, transparency and clarity. The SEC wants you to think that it cares about disclosure, transparency and clarity. Don't believe them. When the truth eventually comes out, the shame of their behavior here will shock you. To the surprise of many in the community, this tweet was answered by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who wrote, No way, showing his support for XRP and criticism of the SEC at the same time. The richest man in the world has been continuing the confrontation with the SEC for years, and knows what he is talking about. In a recent tweet, 
Ripple CTO David Schwartz made it clear that he has no intention of leaving the company. Schwartz says he might have started a new project from scratch. He says there are a lot of new things he would like to work on. However, he doesn't want to make just a formal effort. Schwartz admitted that he no longer has the passion needed to launch a new major project. Ripple's Trillion Dollar Man, who is the architect of the XRP ledger, says he doesn't want to work 50 hours a week for the next two years. I'm just not ready for it anymore, he said. Schwartz claims that he had such a busy work schedule when he worked on XRPL together with Stefan Thomas, Arthur Brito and Chris Larson. However, he does not think that he will be able to lead such a large-scale project again. Speaking about his work at Ripple, Schwartz says that he likes the fact that the company allows him to work with advanced technologies and create products that have not yet been solved. On October 21st, veteran cryptographer Nick Bagalis announced that he was parting ways with Ripple. Bagalis spent about 10 years working on the XRP registry. He described his journey as amazing, adding that he was grateful to Schwartz, Brito and other teammates. Schwartz says he is sad that he will no longer be able to work with Bagalis, but he is glad that his former colleague is now moving forward. Bagalis believes that Ripple will do fine without him because there are many talented people in the team. His long-term health and success do not depend on any one person. I am sure that everything will be fine thanks to talented and enthusiastic people who contribute and participate, each in their own way. According to a tweet on Crypto Law US, two more major market players decided to support Ripple in its case against the SEC. Philip Goldstein and Icon, a network of lawyers of investors' choice, intend to file an amicus brief in court. Goldstein is the co-founder of Bulldog Investors. This private fund invests mainly in closed-end funds, small-cap operating companies and SPOC. ICANN is a non-profit law firm that helps underrepresented investors and businessmen by expanding their access to markets. The document reports that Goldstein had previously sued the SEC. Both he and ICANN represent the interests of market participants in general and in the particular case of Ripple and the securities regulator. The amicus opinion was prepared for submission by a lawyer representing both Goldstein and the SEC. Philip Goldstein, according to the document, believes that the SEC tends to expand its powers beyond the limits established by law. Presenting the document, the parties urge the court to satisfy the defendant's petition for a decision in the simplified procedure. The aim of the new amicus report is to pinpoint exactly why the efforts made by the SEC to gain control over cryptocurrencies and other digital assets are an unacceptable and unauthorized application of regulatory powers. Earlier it was reported that the U.S. securities regulator asked Judge Torres to rule against Tapjets Inc. and Iremit Inc., who filed their amicus briefs in support of Ripple in his motion for a summary judgment. Nevertheless, they were allowed to do it. Both companies focused on the importance of XRP for their business in their proposals. iRemit is based in the Philippines and relies heavily on Ripple and ODL, including XRP, for hassle-free and cheap transactions. Tapjets stressed that XRP is vital to its business model, as it allows you to book flights quickly and around the clock. The lawsuit was filed by the SEC against Ripple Labs and two of its senior executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Christopher Larson, in December 2020 alleging that both the executives and the company were selling XRP as an unregistered security. Brad Garlinghouse recently said he expects the case to be solved by the second half of next year. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is $1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4. 08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.